Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is another video on FPGA prototyping experience video series. In this video series, I share some tips and tricks of FPGA design. In this particular video, we will discuss how we can implement all number of inverters in our design. Now without wasting much time, let us see what is inside this video. Friends, if I ask you to design the following design, that is, you have to design three inverters in series. You can consider in and out as two FPGA pins. You may think that its design is very easy, and yes, its design is very easy. Its RTL code is very, very easy. Almost everyone can write it. But the problem is, as soon as you start synthesizing this RTL, the synthesizer will take it as one inverter only because its behavior is exactly same as one inverter and all the time the synthesizer will optimize it to single inverter that is a problem but in our case for some reason we want the three inverters to be there let us not go deep into the subject why we need three, three inverters but yes we need it this is only a single example where we don't want the synthesizer to optimize our design in your designs also, sometimes you face this type of situation where you don't want the synthesizer to optimize your design. And with the help of this video, you will come to know the trick that how you can stop the synthesizer not to optimize our design. Now I am going to show you two synthesis runs. In the first run, we will not guide the synthesis tool. So obviously it will optimize our design and it will convert the three inverter into single inverter. In the second synthesis run, we will guide the synthesis tool with some attributes so that it should not optimize our design to single inverter. Friends, in the first go, we have to write a very log code to implement three number of inverters. So I have already written this small very log code to implement odd number of inverters. Module name is odd inverters. Input is IP, output is OP. Here I have declared two wires W1 and W2. Assign W1 is equal to not of IP then w2 is equal to not of w1 then op is equal to not of w2 so this is going to implement three inverters as per our requirement now let us see the vivado synthesis as discussed in the first run we will not guide our synthesizer tool whether to optimize or not and see the results friends synthesis is done now let us open its schematic so we can open the schematic by pressing on the schematic button so this is the schematic where only one LUT is utilized. Now let we can see the truth table of this LUT also. That means what is implemented. Click on this LUT and here is the truth table. Its truth table is when input is 0, output is 1, input is 1, output is 0. That means this LUT is acting as a NOT gate. That means this experiment is aligned with our theory. If we don't guide our synthesizer tool, it is going to optimize these three inverters into a single inverter. Now we'll see the second case. In the second run, we have to guide our synthesizer tool, not to optimize our design. For that, Xilinx has provided us few attributes and I will use one of them to guide the synthesizer tool not to optimize our design. And that attribute is called don't touch attribute. Now let me write its syntax on your screen. Friend, this is the syntax of a don't touch attribute. So I have written on all the wires W1, W2 and output node. Now let us synthesize it and see the synthesis results. Friend, synthesis is complete and now you can see that it has implemented three inverters using three LUTs. If you want to see the truth table of all these three LUTs, you can click on any of them. Go to cell properties and you are in a truth table. The first LUT is acting as a truth table because 0 is getting converted into 1 and 1 is getting converted into 0. Similarly, you can click on the second one. Second is again acting as an inverter from the truth table. And the last LUT is also acting as an inverter. Now it is clear that if you put don't touch attribute on any of the net, Vivardo synthesizer is not going to optimize it. 
with this i am going to end this lecture and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you and if you have any idea and you want to discuss it you can write it down in the comment section and we'll create videos on that topic on priority those who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching